Are you ready for part number two of From Babel to Pentecost or Breaking Language Barriers? Are you ready for part two? Because I am. I am so ready to talk to you today about the power of the tongue, the power of speech, and how that you have a heavenly language that opens up doors in the realm of the earth. Your true purpose is in the mind of God. your sword, sharpen your blade. What we are experiencing here, you can experience right there, right now. This is Spiritual Authority. And now, Bishop George Bloom. God bless you and welcome to Spiritual Authority. I couldn't wait uh, to go back into the study that we were having on the power of speaking in tongues. Our message on last week's show started off with us dealing with the Tower of Babel, Genesis chapter number 11. They were all in, uh, in, a, in an area and all of them spoke the same language, the same language, and they built a city and a tower that reached the heavens we talked about, and you really, really need to get last week's uh, program, uh, you, just the, 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 the lesson on it, the teachings on it, and maybe I can figure out a way to um, package this for you and, 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 and give it to you as an offer because you're going to really, really need this. Uh, there's of one language and of one speech, God comes down, ch uh, changes the language, he calls the place the place of Babel, and there they are, blah, 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 babbling, babbling, babbling. The unfortunate thing is this, that the curse of Babel that was started at the Tower of Babel still in existence today because many of us, when we talk to each other, is as if we're just babbling. People say, huh, what you say, make it plain, I don't know what you're talking about, I don't understand, come again, all that kind of stuff, all, all, all those kind of words that are used because we simply don't understand what the person is actually saying. And if we're having that type of problem here in the realm of the earth, you could imagine the, uh, the uh, traffic that is being, the traffic jams in, 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 in the portals of glory that, is, that held up our, just our prayers not getting to where it's supposed to get. But there is a remedy for that, and the Lord has established it in his word. So we're going to go to the word of the Lord today in part number two, and we're going to deal with the language barrier, the language barrier. And we're going to a very, very unfamiliar place. And some of you might even ask the question, where in the world is Bishop going to today? Well, I'm going to show you. Ezekiel 37. Isn't that the story of the Valley of Dry Bones? It certainly is. But there's more to be said about the Valley of Dry burn Bones than ankle bones connecting to foot bones and thigh bones and what have you. There's a significant word. And the hand of the Lord carried me out in the spirit and the Lord set me down in the midst of the valley full of bones and caused me to pass round about them. And behold, they were very many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, you know. I'm too wise to try to answer God what he knows. And again, he said, prophesize unto these bones and say, hear ye, O bones, uh, dry bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. And thus saith the Lord uh, God to these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you and ye and bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put my breath in you and you shall live and you shall know that I am the Lord Jehovah when I have done this. And so with those instructions, verse number seven. So I prophesied as I, as I was commanded and there was a noise and behold, a shaking and the bones came together, bones to his bones. And when I beheld and lo, the sinews and the flesh came up on the bones. And uh, he goes on to say, and they stood up an exceeding great army. And he said unto me, prophesy as to the wind, 
prophesies to the wind and I prophesize son of man and say, come from the four winds and uh, breathe on these slain that they may live. And verse number 10 says, so I prophesied as I was commanded and breath came into them and they lived and stood up an exceeding great army. And the Lord made a proclamation. And he said, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God when I have opened up your graves. Verse number 13, O my people and brought you up out of your graves. And when I shall put my spirit in you and you shall live. Mm hmm. In your own land. Yes. And the Lord that spoke these things, he shall perform it, saith the Lord, saith the Lord. Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37 is the foundation for our discussion today because Ezekiel 37 is a prophecy and it's the prophecy of God opening up the graves of all of the nations that he had scattered during Babel. And the graves represents the countries and nations that the children of Israel are buried in. And he said, I'm going to open up your graves, which means I'm going to bring you up out of Russia. And I'm going to bring you out of Pol Poland. And I'm going to bring you out of Afghanistan. And I'm going to bring you out of all the places in Germany and all the places that their forefathers and uh, they, they, they have been oppressed and lived in for many, many years. I'm going to open up those countries and bring you out of it. Number two, I'm going to put my uh, bring you into put my spirit in you, which means that he's going to fill them with the spirit. They're going to come to understand in the beginning. He came unto his own, his own received them, not to as many received them, gave ye the power to become the sons of God. He says in this season, I'm going to cause Israel to see that I am the true and living God and that Jesus is the eternal begotten son of God. And he is Messiah that they actually met him, but did not receive him. And number three, I'm going to bring you into your own land. That prophecy was fulfilled when David Bagurin declared Israel as a nation. So Ezekiel 37 in our time and our day has been fulfilled. Most of it have been fulfilled, but he's going to cause the wind to blow from the four corners of the earth and on the four corners of the earth, are four angels holding back the four winds because those are winds of judgment. In this season, there are judgment winds blowing. And if you don't know the language, you're going to be like a chaff that the wind drives away. But if you know the language, you will be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord and understanding that your labor is not in vain. We are about to break the language barrier. Your world can be radically changed as you embrace the heavenly language God has given you. And what you speak creates a great day in the morning. Create your new world through today's offer. Bishop George Bloomer's life-changing package, including his book, Empowered From Above. So create the world that you're going to live in while you're on this planet. Call now, toll free, right? Click on bishopbloomer.com or use our text to give option to order the Empowered From Above package. Included his prophetic book, a vial of anointing oil, an anointed prayer cloth from Bishop as a point of contact, plus his new music CD, Take It to Jesus, to help you saturate the atmosphere with the presence of the Holy Spirit. It's all available for your seed gift of just $58 or more as the Holy Spirit leads. You you have the Holy Spirit. You have an intercessor, which is the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost will pray the will of the Father and give you diplomatic immunity. Order Bishop Bloomer's life-changing Empowered From Above package today to help you break the language barrier, speak into the heavens, and create your world. Now, Bishop George Bloomer. Son of man, can these bones live? The answer to that question is yes, if you prophesize unto them. Every dead thing in your life, everything that was cut off, everything that is dry, every hope that is lost, God has given you the power to prophesize. And that word prophecy in the Hebrew simply means to preach, to preach to it. Preach to your finances. Preach to your health. Preach to your children. 
preach to the to to you to your job preach 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 proclaim decree and declare remember you're made in the image and the likeness of God and what you speak creates great day in the morning what you speak actually creates so create the world that you're going to live in while you're on this planet God gives you the authority to cultivate and to call those things that be not as though they were. Now I said in the first segment that the Valley of Dry Bones was, is a prophecy. And it's the prophecy of the household of Israel that was cut off of their parts, 10 and two, Judah and, the, and, and, and Israel. It's the prophecy of God bringing them back together again and putting life back into Israel. And we're hearing a lot about Israel and he was going to open up their graves, the prophecy said. The graves were the countries and the nations that they were buried in. The question now is how did they get into those nations? How did they get into those countries? How did they get into those graves? Well, in Daniel's chapter number one, it says, in the third year of the reign of uh, uh, Jehoiakim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and uh, besieged it. And the Lord gave to Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, into the hands with parts of the vessel of the house of his God to carry them into the land of Shinar, Shinar where the Tower of Babel was built, into the land of Shinar and uh, of gold and of silver and brought the vessels into their treasury. And uh, this whole scripture deals with how that uh, Nebuchadnezzar, young Nebuchadnezzar came, besieged uh, 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 Judah, took it, Judah means praise, took their praise from them, took their golden articles and their artifacts and took them and put them into the house, took them out of the temple and put them into the house of their treasury. So now they're benefiting from the from the wealth of the children of Israel and enslaved them, brought them to the borders of Babylon and sold them off as slaves into the existing nations at that time. It would be uh, uh, 490 years that the children of Israel would actually be in bondage, be in bondage until the word of the Lord came forth. When Jesus died on the cross and rose victoriously on the third day, he told the disciples, meet me in Jerusalem and wait there until you be endowed with power from on high. 120 individuals is in the upper room and the wind of God that was spoken by the prophet e uh, uh, um, Ezekiel to speak to the winds, the Bible says, and a rushing mighty wind. It's the same wind. It took 490 years for the wind to get to where the wind was sent to, but the wind is blowing. And I want you to understand that the prophetic word that has been spoken in and over your life, although you don't see the effects of it, it's about to come to pass. Think for a few minutes, that word that you have received, that word that you've spoken out of your spirit, hoping that God would bring it to pass and it looked like it wasn't gonna to come to pass and then when you was just about ready to give up, a year later, five years later, eight years later, it actually came to pass. Well, this is the hour where the winds are blowing in your favor and there's judgment connected to the wind, but because you have the Holy Spirit, you have an intercessor, which is the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost will pray the will of the Father and give you diplomatic immunity. You are a spiritual diplomat from glory, an ambassador of God walking in the realm of the earth and he's given you the ability to speak the language of heaven in the realm of the earth and to speak the language of earth in the realm of the heavens. As it is in the natural, so go it in the spirit. And the Bible declares that on that day, the wind blew and they began to speak in other languages as the spirit of God gave them the utterance. Now, I don't wanna to get too far away from myself because I feel myself getting excited. The graves that Ezekiel is talking about are the nations and countries that the children of Israel was buried in. God said, I'm going to open up your grave, which means I'm going to bring you out of those countries. Every day, planes are touching down in Tel Aviv and in Nazareth and in Jerusalem, where Jews whose families, 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 generations have been held in nations that was not theirs. They're coming up out of their graves. And I'm going to bring you into your own land. David Begurian declared Israel as a nation. He says, but I'm going to put my spirit in you. And this is the hour that we're beginning to see God place his spirit in the children of Israel, place his spirit 
in Jews. This is very, very important that you understand it. So those three passages of scriptures go together. Ezekiel 37, Daniel chapter number one, and Acts chapter number two, when the day of Pentecost was fully come. Notice that all of the nations that are represented there are witnessed to by 120 Galileans who are in the upper room obeying God, waiting for the promise to come. Throughout the program, I've been holding something in my hand, something in my hand. This is an Acts 19 uh, 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 instrument. Acts 19 says that uh, when the Apostle Paul was preaching, uh, they took from his body handkerchiefs and, uh, and cut them up and sent them to people and those that were possessed with demon spirits and evil forces when the cloth touched them, the very fibers of the cloth touched them from the sweat that came from the apostles' hands and, 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 and body, they were delivered and set free. Uh, our offer today, I want to put this in your hand and put this in your spirit, is Empowered From Above a book that I wrote and re-released 16 years later, along with this anointed prayer cloth that I'm going to be praying over to release in your life, along with a music CD called Take It to Jesus. I am setting an atmosphere for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ so that you can receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Your faithful seed of $58, and there's 58 promises in the Word of God. I'm asking you to put a dollar on every one of those promises in the Old Testament and watch God do great and mighty works in your life. Your world can be radically changed as you embrace the heavenly language God has given you. And what you speak creates great day in the morning. Create your new world through today's offer. Bishop George Bloomer's life-changing package, including his book, Empowered From Above. So create the world that you're going to live in while you're on this planet. Call now, toll free. Right, click on bishopbloomer.com or use our text to give option to order the Empowered From Above package. Included his prophetic book, a vial of anointing oil, an anointed prayer cloth from Bishop as a point of contact, plus his new music CD, Take It to Jesus, to help you saturate the atmosphere with the presence of the Holy Spirit. It's all available for your seed gift of just $58 or more as the Holy Spirit leads. You you have the Holy Spirit, you have an intercessor, which is the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost will pray the will of the Father and give you diplomatic immunity. Order Bishop Bloomer's life-changing Empowered From Above package today to help you break the language barrier, speak into the heavens, and create your world. Now, Bishop George Bloomer. I wrote a book some time ago called More of Him Receiving the Power of the Holy Spirit and in it we put together a CD. Uh, there's a testimony that I want you to hear uh, from that uh, um, experience because I feel that same anointing flowing with us right now. Uh, a young lady writes us out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, writes us about how that her brother was in a car accident and um, he was in a car accident, uh, broke his collarbone, broke his back. Uh, broke both of his uh, broke both of his leg, had some internal bleeding, and there they had him sedated in a coma. Uh, it wasn't looking good. Then things turned for the worse, where uh, he wasn't breathing on his own. His lungs had collapsed, and they were there waiting for the end of it. Uh, I saw her in a meeting, and she said to me, she said, Bishop Bloom, can I have your handkerchief? I had just got finished preaching. And uh, reluctantly, and I said, yes, I didn't know the story at that particular time. She wanted the handkerchief. And I asked that my handkerchiefs be retrieved because people are always taking my handkerchiefs and I don't know if they're using them for the glory or the honor of God. You know what fetishes is all about, a piece of instrument that belongs to someone. People take them and then they work roots and different things on it. And me being a spiritual warfare preacher, I'm sort of sensitive in that particular area. But nonetheless, I gave her the prayer cloth. I gave her the handkerchief. She took the handkerchief and uh, she uh, listened to the message, took the message and went into his room and played the message that I had preached in the room, very, very quietly in the room and took the prayer cloth and pinned it to the inside of his garment. Within seven days, he started responding. On the eighth day, they took the tubes out. 
on the ninth day, ninth or tenth day, I want to be uh, sure with this, on the ninth or the tenth day, he shared with us how that from the time she stepped into the room and began to play the CD and give him the cloth, that the room was filled with a presence. He said it was shadows in the room and the whole time the shadows were speaking, but they were speaking as if they were speaking gibberish or, or, or speaking in unknown tongues. And, but in his spirit, he could hear that they were there reconstructing all of the things that had gone wrong in his body, in his spirit. And then he said he could hear the sermon playing over and over again. He couldn't hear when a doctor would come in or a nurse would come in. He, didn't, he was in the realm of the spirit. That young man is delivered and set free and his testimony is awesome. I sense in my spirit that miracles are about to take place like that right now. That God wants you once again to connect with the supernatural. Connect with the supernatural. That something supernaturally is happening. That your angel that has been assigned to you, glory be to God, is now in right standing with you and in fellowship with you and is going to bring you to a place that God has preordained and pre structured for you, your life is going to be great. Our offer today is a supernatural offer. The book I want you to get, Empowered From Above. The CD, Take It To Jesus, which is some music that is going to set the atmosphere so as you're reading, and one of our prayer cloths. For your faithful seed of $58, 58 promises in the Old Testament, uh, in the area of the Old Testament that I want you to claim. Blessed in the city, in the field, blesses the fruit of your womb, bless you when you're going in, bless you when you're coming out, blessed is your crops, just blessings, 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 and the prosperity of God on you and on your life, overwhelming you. Then I want you to embrace the baptism of the Holy Ghost and to embrace your new prayer language. In fact, normally I would go to break and then come back and pray for you, but I sense in my spirit right this moment we need to stop and pray for you. You're not watching the program today by mistake. It's a divine hookup, a divine connection between Bishop George Bloomer and you, the viewer who is watching right now. And I have some homework for you to do. Wherever you are, if standing is what you like to do when you pray, do it. If kneeling is what you like to do when you pray, kneel. If laying prostrated, if you're laying in the bed, I just want you to look into the television, or if you close your eyes and listen to my voice, to know that I'm now in intercession for you. If your earthly father, being evil, can give good gifts, how much more can the heavenly father give the Holy Ghost to those that ask? I, in the name of Jesus, invoke the power of God and command the spirit of the Holy Ghost to saturate the room to which you're in right now in the name of Jesus. And all I want you to do is repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I now accept the finished works of Calvary. Lord Jesus, I've already accepted you as my savior. Now I'm asking you to baptize me and fill me with the precious Holy Ghost. And give me, dear God, evidence by speaking the heavenly language, not to boast, but to have a connection between earth and glory. I receive it now in Jesus' name. If you prayed that prayer, or I should say, because you prayed that prayer, your room is now filled with the presence and the power of God. That voice that you hear on the inside of you is not you speaking mumbo jumbo. It is the Holy Spirit praying through you. Don't be afraid. Don't override it. Don't try to control it right where you are. Receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. For some of you it's coming in the form of laughter. For others it's coming in the form of prayers. Some of you is just tears flowing down your face. Others are feeling a sense of, 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 of boldness, a spirit of confrontation. Whatever your manifestation is, receive it. It is evidence that the presence and the power of God is right where you are. Receive it now. Your world can be radically changed as you embrace the heavenly language God has given you. And what you speak creates. 
great day in the morning. Create your new world through today's offer. Bishop George Bloomer's life-changing package, including his book, Empowered from Above. So create the world that you're going to live in while you're on this planet. Call now, toll free. Right, click on bishopbloomer.com or use our text to give option to order the Empowered From Above package. Included his prophetic book, a vial of anointing oil, an anointed prayer cloth from Bishop as a point of contact, plus his new music CD, Take It to Jesus, to help you saturate the atmosphere with the presence of the Holy Spirit. It's all available for your seed gift of just $58 or more as the Holy Spirit leads. You you have the Holy Spirit. You have an intercessor, which is the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost will pray the will of the Father and give you diplomatic immunity. Order Bishop Bloomer's life-changing Empowered from Above package today to help you break the language barrier, speak into the heavens, and create your world. Now, Bishop George Bloomer. For we know not what to pray for as we ought, but the Holy Spirit maketh intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. I am now in intercession for your daughter who is strung out or in a crazy relationship, your son who is in prison. I'm praying for your husband who left, who is now on his way back. I'm praying for your body, the miscarriage you had, the abortion that took place in your life, but the voices of that dead child troubles you in your sleep. In this moment, I am interceding and praying for you, and you're going to have a great, 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 great comeback in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go to the phone and order the gift for today. Get the prayer cloth, get the book, get the CD, Sow a seed of 58, $58, and watch God cause harvest to come into your life because of the seed that you have sown. In Jesus' name, amen. I don't want to leave without giving you an opportunity to come to Jesus. Someone is watching right now that needs Jesus. Jesus, I've sinned. I've fallen short. I was once with you and I backslidden, and I want to come back. If you prayed either of those prayers or just had those thoughts, He's already completed the work in your life. Go to the phone, tell the prayer warriors, tell the prayer counselors that you came to Jesus and they'll be able to pray with you and help you. And remember, sow the seed. Today is the beginning of the rest of your life starting right now. I'll see you next time on Spiritual Authority. God bless you, I'm Bishop George Bloomer, and I would like to invite you to worship with us at Bethel Family Worship Center here in the city of Durham, North Carolina. We are waiting for you. For music, dance, drama, and of course the word, make Bethel Family Worship Center in Durham your destination for inspiration because there's simply no place like it. Sundays at 10 a.m. with Tuesday evening Bible study. Join Bishop George Bloomer at Bethel Family Worship Center. For more information, visit BethelFamily.org.